Hello everyone, my name is Yelsum and welcome back to Regrowth. As you can see, we are in a hole. This is normal for Minecraft, do not be alarmed. This is right off of the uh, underside of what will eventually be the, um, we'll call it the industrial building. Um, train of thought, uh oh. Okay, well, let's, let's get back to that then. Um, this needs to get reworked. It dawned on me not long after uh, uploading that that this is kind of a silly way to do it. It's very convoluted for these pipes. Yeah, I was hoping it would kind of look neat to have them all stretched all over the place, but it's just going to, in the end, end up causing lag, which I'd really like to avoid because we're already starting to get some of that. So what I'm thinking about actually doing is probably breaking this thing. And eh, actually, maybe this one will stay where it is. I need to to um, find the Railcraft calculator. I need to go back to it and take a look and find out how much coal coke is required to keep a... Um, uh -oh. Cat. Try to uh, keep a high po high pressure boiler and a low pressure boiler running on solid fuel. You know how much? What type of input do you need? Uh, is it a thousand a minute, a thousand an hour? You know that type of thing, just to, to determine whether or not that system down there is putting out enough to supply them. Because I was looking at it, and a um, a full size low pressure boiler can run nine of these things. A high pressure can run eighteen. Well, as long as the boiler is above 50%, like we talked about before, it will automatically output to things touching it. So why use pipes? Why not just take the setup I've got right here and just stick it right on the side? So, you know, say emerald pipe there, engine, 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 you're done. Well, for 18, you do that on what, like all the way around and then I think two on the top. That gives you enough because yeah, it'd be 16, yeah. So four on each side and two on the top with the um, low pressures you'd end up getting, say, four on two sides and then one on the top. But the way you can set it up is if you've got it set like this, you could actually kind of put a boiler here and then another set of engines on this side and then like maybe another boiler right here with another set of engines on this side and this side and they kind of merge into kind of like a cube and all the power would come out the center. I don't know if that description makes any sense whatsoever. It, it does if you write it or draw it on graph paper. Trust me, I've done it. So hopefully that'll that'll kind of work out and it'll it'll kind of condense the area a little bit, which I think will help. But back to this thing because let's see, last time we made mechanism stuff and the image seeds, which we have ten ten tens of now, and I think I forgot to replant them. Oh, but the entire point of this room right here is I want a place to store the um, coal coke and possibly the coal so we make sure that we never ever run out of storage room well the easiest way to do that is to basically in in the world here recreate what amounts to a deep storage unit from one of the other mods easiest way to do that will be to grab our drawer controller smack that sucker in right there all the trim connects around this area with the exception of that right there because i didn't want to punch through that wall so we can put drawers anywhere in here and they'll be connected well as long as they're touching one of these things somewhere so we can actually if we really wanted to probably what i was thinking about doing was either setting them like that and eh, like that never mind probably doing it like that just so we have a, an immediate view of how much is in here because if all these are full then you know the ones behind it are filling up too because the ones back here i want to say will fill up first so we could put them, where do we want to put them? Because I don't want to cover up the lights. Uh, I sunk that thing into the wall because I thought it would look neater. Now I'm thinking I may need to punch those blocks out. Kind of do this. That might work better. Because the, the thought here is that if we go grab a stack of coal coke and we put one in all these drawers and then we lock them all, they can only accept coal. And then say we do the same thing right here and some more back there and we lock them to straight coal blocks so they can only accept that. Then it doesn't matter if the farm runs 24 seven and it spews out an obscene amount of coal, who cares? It's got a place to go. I mean, this thing, each one of those things I wanna say, actually how many, how many do you hold? Do you say, do you, do you tell us? I don't remember, that was like 32 stacks. Yeah, 32 stacks per drawer and these are unupgraded. So if we put higher tier, you know, emerald or higher upgrades in those things, they will hold an insane amount of coal coke and coal. Which, if you come over here, which I haven't been down here in ages, I walked in here, I'm like, huh, I forgot about this place. We're hardly even using two thirds of our uh, coke ovens. 
if you look at these, so we got 32,394 in climbing cold coke, and we have 37,000 or 39,700 and who knows how much in the pipe coal. So we got a lot of it and we're really not in any you know, issue of running out. But if we actually actively start using that cold coke, we want to make sure that if we up production, there's some place for it to go. So that's kind of what the logic was for this. Eat some horribly nutritious bread, which, you know, after a while you think this guy would collapse from malnutrition. But so what I was actually doing just before I started recording was making a whole bunch of um, of, of things with, with um, stuff. Okay, what, how did I, what, what did I, oh. Two, not three, that's why. Making a whole bunch of the uh, oh, birch, yeah, birch drawers so that there's a place to put these things. So we should be able to do that with some spare. Now we got a whole bunch of them. So we need to crack these out. I mean, it's in theory, I suppose, not really necessary, but I think this part will look neater if those are in the wall. And then these maybe we'll just set like that. And I don't think we're, yeah, F7 says we're okay. As long as we don't cover those. So you can see even, even base, even just letting these things sit with no upgrades, we've got what? 8, 14, 26? I don't know, math. We got a lot of them, plus those. And then 32 stacks apiece. They will hold a lot. And then to redirect the coal and the coal coke down here is actually pretty simple. All we'd really have to do, because you can see the coal's coming down ooh, here, it comes down here and it goes that way. All we really need to do is tap into, like here, this one would probably be better because it's, it's right here, we can just run it right over. Or maybe one of them down here, who knows. But basically just tap into any one of these and have it redirect coal coke that way and have coal come into it this way. Basically, we just take the setup that we have over there on that side and move it over here. All the pipes are set in a loop anyways, so it doesn't matter where we put in or take out of that loop. It will just continue looping. It's not like the liquid where I had to go change every single one of those pesky little pipes. This thing needs, yeah, this thing needs planks. There we go. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for this area. I'll probably get it um, piped in and connected between episodes because it's, it's just, oh man. It's just going to be connecting up pipes. There really isn't anything special about that type of setup. So, nah, no. Let's do. There. Ta da! Now, let's take a peek. And actually, I don't think I've looked at this thing in a while. Yeah, we do not. I don't think have the materials yet to start on this stuff, which I think would be really cool if we could. Getting. Electrolytic separator that could be kind of cool to get into some of that But the primary thing I really want to get going on is energy storage We don't need it now, but I'd much rather have it before we needed it. We have plenty of these We can make these I mean, it's not that it's not what I'm gonna call cheap as far as The time input that goes into them plus we don't really have that many of those things right now um, We still got some plates. No we nope. How about over here? How are you not done yet? This area must not be loaded when I'm logged in. Yeah, that because there's no way those engines downstairs weren't even moving when we when we looked at them first. I'm guessing these things are having the same issue that that mana pool over there is having, because I'm sitting in that little box over there. They may not for some reason be loading, which would be kind of weird, but it's Minecraft. Weird things are kind of par for the course. Do we have any that we do? And there. That'll give us those. Water. Mm -hmm. Let's see, where can we get water from? This looks like a good place. Give me that. Oh, give it here. All right. Then we moved that box over here. One of these days I'm gonna fall down that hole and kill myself. Take you out of there, and if we put, put that there, we need, we need, we need a thing we do not have. 
So we will make the thing that we do not have. Put you there. So we need a liquid pipe, which with my luck is probably sitting right in front of me down there. But so we're just gonna actually set this one to contains fluid and tank. That way if this has something in it, it'll pump it. That should there we go. That's better. Uh, you can go in there. Put the lights away. Alright. So that will get us two more. Four. Okay. Um, no. This one. Okay. So we got these. But we need more. So we're going to need what? Four more? Yeah. So we're going to need one of these. We need four of those. Oh, check that out. We've even got more already. That's even better. Oops, no. Can't count. Oh, what was that? Okay, so we need those. Now we need four more. Eh, you know what? Energy. Energy cube. There we go. Now let's just open this up a little better. Now, sheet aluminum. Sheet aluminum. Where did I, do I have any? Do not have the sheet aluminum over here. We are scattered all over this place right now. Someday that'll have to get fixed. Kind of like someday that'll have to get finished, and someday that'll have to get finished, and someday there's a building needs to go over there, and someday I need to scan all the Thumbcrest stuff, and we got a lot of some days. <laughs> so someday. Uh, let's just take some of those. Actually, let's take all of this there. That gives us enough that hopefully we don't have to come back over here for a while. And then that thing's going. Might have to beef that thing up a little bit. I don't think we're even scratching the surface on the amount of coal we have, so it's probably pointless to do that. Okay, so what do we need? Four steel plates, two cobalt plates. Let's just put... Yep, get in there. Where do the cobalt plates go? They're there. Ooh. Running out with the four cobalt plates, you... Okay, so... No, two cobalt plates, four steel plates. Hmm. Yeah, there. There's that. Someday I will be able to remember more than two things at a time. Okay, two of the enriched, or four enriched, four iron. So, four of these. We don't have any of those. This. And some of those, because we dumped it all in there. It's just diamonds, so who cares? Toss that and that. I don't remember how much these things take each. See, it doesn't tell you. That's just evil. Nope. There we go. Um, okay, we're making one. Power system downstairs must have woke up. Okay. Oh, a little bit of lag there. All right, now, yeah, I think we got enough. Do we? Do we? Maybe. Let's go here, 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 and there. All right, put you away. We do not need you right now. Is that making? Is it lagging or is it making two per shot? I mean, it makes, I think it's only making one per, but I think it's like, I'm just, it's going a little faster than I'm expecting. Okay, two of those. Okay, here, and then what was that? Was that, that's aluminum, okay. So we need two pieces of aluminum, one of these, those. You go in the middle, you go across the center, you go in the corners, and we got an energy cube. Ooh. If I put this thing down, can I pick it up? Okay, it just says pickaxe. <laughs> that would really suck. Okay, let's see. Um, storing. What's the max output on this thing? Shift. I thought it used to tell you somewhere. I thought you could set it. Oh, there it is. Duh. 320 RF per tick. Okay, that's, that's not terrible. That's not that bad. I mean, it's not hold the most fantastic. Probably can't keep up with these guys, which, 
you're bugged, aren't you? Because you're not drawing any power through the tubes. You're not actually doing anything, you liars. All right, that's that's why everything looked weird. So let's see. Oh, we need to we need to perform an experiment. Where to put it? This one? Yes. Cannonball. Okay, experimentation. This will cause those things to probably go off a little. Full. Yeah, I think this thing requires a full one if I'm remembering it correctly. And good chunk. And look at the steam go. Okay, so if I put you in there, you start vacuum sucking steam out of that thing like there's no tomorrow. And then if we put you here. I thought for sure, steam. It says outputs at 100%. This is the output side. These are the everything else is the input side. I have no idea how this thing works. I thought for sure it would have it would work if we put a cube on it because we've run into that before. Oh well. You are dead to me. I no longer need you. Someday I'll figure out how to use you. By then, hopefully, I'll have a fusion reactor and won't need you. So let's see. It's getting dark. Let's put you back in your box of shame. And for the time being, just in case we need ooh, idea, let's put you there. Whoa! <laughs> it's a good thing these pipes don't explode. Ah. Storing. It's like a little heartbeat. The engine's like, what are you doing to us? Uh, let's see. What I was just thinking is I can take that, I can put it over there, and I can plug it into that, that uh, set over there and get the, um, hopefully get that uh, centrifuge up to speed because I haven't run any power cables over there yet. And before I forget again, let's put you there. And so let's just do one there and there and there. Here. And just for the heck of it, there. And we'll store the rest of them for now. There we go. Okay, let's see. Are you charged yet? You should be pretty close because that thing is like vomiting power into you. Wow. I thought I could take power in faster than that. Unless these things just aren't f producing power fast enough. Eh, we'll just try it with this. Give me. Then, yellow bag. Do we? We do not, of course. No, no, missed that one. One of these. Someday I just need to make a bunch and stuff them into a drawer. And this is the hole where the oil was. I put a piece of lava there so I could use it as a trash can. Plus, hopefully, kill off anything that wants to spawn down there. And phone's beeping. Uh, we're, we're currently in the process of out stubborning our daughter. <laughs> I'm not sure who's going to win. Let's see if I put you here and then we, oh no, I needed you there. We want the little output side to be here. Hmm. Get down there. What? Get, uh oh. Flaw in plan. Flaw in plan. Um, uh, hmm. Well. Okay. I want to walk into there. Okay. Now I'm in here. How do I get out of here? Can I? Okay. Oh. I've played this game before, honest. There we go. This is so not going to work. Oh, hey, it worked. Yeah, of course trapped inside. Okay, how are we doing here? What are you, What's your output rate at? Max output rate, 320. You are definitely burning off power as fast as you can, but that thing is moving much better. While we're over here, let's check out the bugs and see if this one goes back in the box if I hate you. Oh, look! Yeah, it's unstable again. No, you're not what I want at all. No. 
Oh, okay, I only partially hate you. You're sub cobalt still. Oh, that's what I hate. It seems like for some reason as the cobalt comes out, it wants to drop this down to one. I've been trying to keep it up at, at least two because if it's not two, then I can't breed them. I, I can't clone them, which is a royal pain. So I can see this one's two, a cobalt and imperial, which means more than likely what's hello gonna happen is these are just gonna be stupid and stubborn and hellish down to okay good. let's take a peek and you oh look you turn back into imperial yeah that's why we don't like bees sometimes so we'll just put you back in there that one was actually the argentum or whatever it was an argentum imperial and then i think i put an imperial with it or imperial crossbreed with it um botanic as you can see is filling up I should probably take those out of there rooted it's funny, okay, so Rooted has been running for quite a while, like a couple days minimum, probably four or five. Um, that's how many drones we've got, and it's got 63 in here. Come down here to Charmed, which we only put in here last episode, maybe a little before, and it's already got a, just a ton of drones. I mean, these guys have just been kind of busy. So, yeah, these guys must be slow. The only thing I can think of is I'm betting these guys... No, there are three, too. They're shorter. Oopsie. Back in the box. And, 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 and you. Shorter. Yeah. Their lifespans are the same, and their production rates are the same. I have, unless, I mean, unless I had, um, oopsie. Unless I had chocolate frames in here and just completely forgot about it, which is entirely possible. Who knows? Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, actually, we completed a quest. Ooh, oh, an energy tablet, yay. Can we can make the next one. Oh, really, can we? Guess what we're not making now. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen for a while. Okay, let's go toss this back in the box before I put it in some other box and I lose it forever. You and you and sort. Okay, what else you got for us? Hmm. Well, we looked at these before, didn't we? And they required this stuff, which looked like a chicken and egg problem, but we can actually put it through with iron. And, okay, yeah, I think we can actually do that. The rolling machine is not down there. Did I put it away up here? Okay, rolling machine, there it is. <laughs> That looks like a good spot for a rolling machine. We've already got some steel plate because we plundered the box over there. This is our iron plate. That's steel. That will not do us any good. Thought I brought more iron. Did I just toss it in here and I don't remember it? Yep. Okay. So it said, what was it? A cross of iron. And then that. Okay, yep. So if we just toss these in here, they'll auto sort. And it will start producing. We'll just make a whole bunch of these things. Okay. Because these look like they're actually pretty easy to make. Um, I know we have this stuff. Redstone we obviously have. These things are going to be a little weird. Silicon piece. Okay. I enrichment. No. Okay. Let's go. Let's go grab all that junk. Hopefully my voice isn't cracking too bad. It's been going in and out. I blame my wife for getting me sick. She agrees, luckily, which you know helps a lot. Because that means I'm not you know getting glared at and accused of accusing her. <laughs> so, but I guess on the, the other side of that is um, <laughs> she's sicker than I am. Let's take. Yeah, let's just grab it all. Okay. Wait. Did we not? Oh. Don't. Ooh. Evil inventory glitch. There are boxes in here. Nope. Oh, well. I know where we can get wood. Let's go do that. I have not actually ventured into the nether in a couple days, so day or however long it's been. I don't remember. Wait, I need wood. A little lag. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And actually while we're over here, 
let's wreck our mana supply. There we go. Turn that one back on to hopefully get the bug pool back up. I need to just go over there and purge out all the uh, ignoble queens. Just get rid of them because I've got so many of them I'm never going to use them all. And why am I going over there? I need to be over here. Yeah, nope. I should not have tried to stop that jump. Uh, weird. I thought I put them in there. In here? Nope. Okay. Yep. Just one. Made a whole stack of uh, crafting tables. I guess I've already. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Whatever. Let's just put that right there. To box, little ghetto box here, and let's put it right there. And I'll put you in there. Come over here because this is kind of my junk catch-all box for this area. Construction materials, I believe, is what I'm calling it. Now let's go back into the quest book. Wireless, IMAG, IMAG, whatever, transmitter, matrix. Okay, those we got, those we got, those we got, these we don't got. These were, okay, the silicon ingots in the enrichment chamber. Let's just do 16 of them. Do, 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 do. Enrichment chamber, do your thing. Oh, look at that one actually works when you toss stuff directly into it the first time. And then we needed already completely forgot thinking maybe a couple of these thinking that's right is it nah that's right okay now make that or I think it's that's why okay then we take this and what did we have didn't we have to crush it yeah I think that's what we had to do crusher crusher break that please it's like one of the only days in, a, in probably a couple weeks that it's actually been fairly warm. Like, you know, when I say fairly warm, I mean in the 60s outside. So and that's Fahrenheit in case anybody's watching this in a place that actually uses a normal measuring system on it like us. So it's actually not that bad out. I can't remember if I've even got my door open right now and I cannot do it through here. Wireless. So if you hear anything weird and twinkling, that's my, uh, I, oopsie, I got a wind chime hanging on a shelf behind me and the window's making it move because it's open. So there's, looks like we had enough material for one. Do you have any more? Oh, you do. Look at that. Overachiever. Put that there, that there, there, and. Man, one of my hard drives is going nuts right now. I don't know which one. Come on. Should probably see what the upgrades take. Although we can't really afford to add extra power right now. So there we go. And that gives us two of these. Two of the resonant crystals. And I really don't like the fact that that's making noise because it's usually not a good thing when a hard drive makes noise. And then this thing with some redstone in the middle, oopsie, of four of these. We got another crafting table, so we're okay. That gives us that. So you, 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 and two of you. Yay. We made it. What does it do? System must surely require or to it in order to manage wireless flow of IF, whatever that is. Does it tell us what IF is? Uh, seem to be resonating with each other. Okay, wireless stuff. Gotcha. Uh, what about you? Basic metal, these, these say matrix core. Matrix. Matrix. Matrix core. Improved matrix core. You will never make this core. Hmm. <sighs> Two more of those. What are you? Energy converter. Oh, look, you require another one of those things. There's another data chip. That's a calculation chip. Okay. Which is requires a data, <laughs> requires a data chip. Um, oh, look, another data chip. What about you? Constraint. Metal former? No. Ooh. Don't you think a lot of yourself? We got the constraint stuff, the osmium, 
think we're starting to run a little shy on that because I haven't been um, I haven't been smelting it. Let's go take a peek and see how much we got after we sleep. And let me actually check something real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so turns out I do not actually have any more osmium smelted up, so I tossed in a half a stack here. That's going to take a while to smelt down, and it actually works out pretty well, because we're at about 30 minutes, so this seems like a good cutoff point before I forget and get distracted by something else shiny, and we end up at an hour again. So for now, I'm going to say, you know, if you liked the episode, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. You will see more videos. If you happen to know someone who might like watching us set up a partial big box of drawers down there and getting our um, iMag, iMage, IMA, whatever stuff set up or at least started on and the energy cube which is probably empty already. Hey, send them a link. Maybe they'll like the video. Maybe they'll subscribe and then hopefully you get to be happy for making somebody else happy which means hopefully they're happy and then I get to be happy because oh, there's lag because you know it's channel support and it's awesome and always appreciated. So again, thank you for watching.